turn the lights off. Okay. So, in my live, live in my last live stream, you probably see me trying to brain this all everything out and how to connect this little baby to my uh, um, node red running with MQTT and controlling the upper light. So let's turn it back on again. Alexa, turn the light on. I found several devices matching that name. Which mm. one did you want? Lights. Okay. Excellent. I don't know why it just found several devices I only have one right now enabled. I've deleted others, but I'll look into that later. So anyway, you probably don't want to watch, uh, you know, the entire one hour live stream just to figure out this short connectivity that should take you only about 10 minutes. So this is the purpose of this video and I'll show you how to set it up on uh, uh, Alexa, how to set it up in a node... Shh. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, but you're supposed to be quiet. And how to set it up on the Raspberry uh, server on the Node-RED and how to communicate with MQTT. All right, let's get started. First of all, go to the website from the description and create your account. You will be asked to provide your email address, etc. So quickly create an account and then go to the Devices tab. You can add a new device and fill, uh, from, um, fill the name and pick from the options. And I, uh, for the switches, I use just a toggle on and off and then just assign the name for the devices. That's pretty much it. Once you've done that, then just uh, go to your mobile and open up Alexa. Then open up the skills and you'll see, uh, well, you'll see the search window. Just search for Node Red. Uh, that's going to be just the one skill available for Alexa and that's the one we're going to use it. It'll ask you to, uh, to enable the skill and provide the credentials and after that you can scan for devices. As you can see, I've got several devices previously added from experimenting, so I'm just quickly deleting them. But you should be able to see the devices created on the website. To access additional uh, nodes in the node red, we have to install them first. So just go to terminal and execute this command. You'll also find it in my article linked in the description. Once this is installed, when you go to manage your palette, you can search for the Alexa node. And this is a home Alexa node that needs to be installed. So you it could be visible in your palette. This process will take you a moment and once it's complete you can see all the nodes available and to be displayed in the node menu. Now you're ready to set up your connectivity between Alexa and Node-RED. New nodes are going to be accessible to you uh, somewhere in a separate tab so just scroll down until you see Alexa home node. This is the node that will um, intercept the command spoken to Alexa. To configure the node, you should be able to uh, type in the username and password. So select your credentials and then you'll see the devices. If the devices aren't there, just click on a refresh and deploy the node as well uh, to make the connections visible. In this example, I'm using lights commands, well, the lights device, that uh, the command on off is passed as a Boolean value, so true or false, and I need to modify it for my node red, node -red and MQTT uh, system. My MQTT requires a, co a client ID and this is why I've used the additional switch nodes. So this is me testing it and I can see the Boolean value, it's true, and then the value passed is uh, ESP05 false. I have a reverse logic selected and I'm using a debug log to display this um, information on the side. Alexa, say thank you. Thank you. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on social media or subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. It helps me a lot. And as usual, I'm probably going to see you in the next episode very, very soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. And Cortana is right now actually <laughs> listening to this. Um... Okay, that's the blooper sorted. Hey, I'm Matt. No Cortana, no, no, go away. Hey, I'm Matt, and this is not enough tech. Uh, and I forgot. <laughs> uh, it's not going well. Again.